right, welcome back. We are today looking at Unit 1, Quiz 1, Section D. Uh, we want to be able to show that the distance between two integers on a number line is the absolute value of their difference. Okay, now that's kind of a mouthful uh, for something that's actually pretty easy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, our first note is pretty much we're going to rewrite um, our I can statement for this section. All right, the distance is the same. The distance is the same as the absolute value. The distance is the same as the absolute value of their difference. Okay, last time when we talked about, uh, when we introduced absolute value, we talked about how the absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero. Today we're going to talk about the distance between two numbers on a number line and how it is the same thing as the absolute value of their difference. Remember, um, difference uh, means to subtract. Okay, uh, let's start out, let's, uh, let's, Put a dot or a closed circle on 5 and a closed circle on 9. Okay, first question, first thing I want to know here is what is the distance from 9 to 5? Just real simple. How far is it from 9 to 5? Well, if we go up here and count, one, two, three, four. What's the distance? It's four. Welcome to seventh grade. That was pretty tough, I know. But what this tells us as far as absolute values is that the absolute value of nine minus five is going to be four. The distance between the two numbers is four and the absolute value of their difference is 4. All right, if I ask you the same question, but I said 5 to 9, okay, how far is it from 5 to 9? 1, 2, 3, 4. They're still 4 apart, but I didn't, um, I didn't do 9 minus 5. I didn't really do 5 minus 9 either, okay, although 5 minus 9 is going to be negative 4, the absolute value of a negative 4 is positive 4. Okay, so whether we're going from 9 to 5 or from 5 to 9, the absolute value of that difference is going to be 4 and that's the distance of those two numbers. Okay, kind of confusing when you when you use your words to explain what's going on, but obviously it's something that's not too difficult um, as far as the math goes. Let's uh, let's look at another example. If my screen will switch here, let's put. Um, got a little different number line here. This one goes from negative ten to zero. I'm going to put a dot on negative 7 and on negative 2. Just like on the last one, what is my distance from negative 7 to negative 2? All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 away. And again, what that means is the absolute value of negative 7 minus negative 2 is going to be 5. I know you don't know how to work with the negatives yet. That's okay. For now, you just have to trust me that the difference between the two numbers 
the absolute value is the same as their distance. If I go the other way, if I go from negative 2 to negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, showing that the distance is the same as the absolute value of their difference, that they're just in a different order this time. But either way, that absolute value is going to be a positive 5. They're all the same. Let's do one more. Okay, different number line this time. We go from negative 5 to positive 5. And I'm going to put a dot on negative 3 and a dot on 4. See where I'm going? The distance. Yeah, that's a C. It's supposed to be. From negative 3 to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the absolute value of negative 3 minus 4 is 7. And the other way, from 4 to negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this time I have the absolute value of 4 minus negative 3. All right, I put, uh, I put the negative 3 in parentheses because I don't like there being uh, two negative signs or two minus signs right next to each other. So this is just 4 minus negative 3. And again, it's the absolute value, and we have 7. Again, we are pretty much just counting distances on the number line, uh, but it's important that you understand that the distance is the same as the absolute value of their difference. All right, make sure those notes are done, and we'll see you soon.